everyone to join us so just comment so i'm gonna react to a video of course and to thank you guys very much for requesting of course don't forget to subscribe to juno so just comment like us on facebook follow us on twitter if you want me to react to video definitely leave a comment below and i'll try my best to react to it and guys now that i have a bit more time on my hand if there's a way or if there's a quick way i could learn thai if there's a link i could go to if there's a video i could download of course leave a comment below so that i can try my best while i have more free time available to learn more of the thai language and try to understand what you guys are saying and typing in thai thank you very much let's go ahead okay city caller and it's Prince market who's this is that mark win wonderful no, okay. morning at nam sai khao suay resort a luxurious resort enclosed in a large tropical garden right in the heart of downtown Renau. Renau. after some light snacks we hit the road again Thailand, beautiful Thailand. In Ranong's downtown, we found ourselves breakfast at a kopitiam. Breakfast. Translated as coffee shop. shop, this kind of eatery can only be found in the Malay Peninsula, serving hot wow. and cold coffee, tea, and chocolate. This, this is tempting right now. Meal. Sticky rice. And waiting on the table. Sticky rice. Grilled sticky rice wrapped in banana leaves and spring rolls which we managed wow. to finish up very easily. A few steps from a kopi team is market. San Dao Hai Lam Market. Busy from early morning until wow. noon, the wet market is Massive the best market. place to witness the locals shopping for daily produce and household items. At the class, this market is just like others really? abandoned in Thailand. But with the second look, we noticed something very different. Being so close to the Myanmar border, Pranong is the province that is full of Myanmar laborers. And at this market, it's the only market in Pranong that Minimum. Myanmar laborers come to shop for daily items. <laughs> then, it's like entering the land of the Burmese. These packages of carries, tobacco, Another stuff wow. are labeled with the round and curvy alphabet <laughs> that couldn't make sense of. Really? And neither also, she's not tired. And the conversations floating around me. Anyway, I had Sarah. a fun time window shopping. Pink Sarong. That's nice. What is this Sarong used for? It's only to put around your waist? Because I think that here, this is a Sarong. I got this and I got three of them and I also got this in my but I'm using it on that and I'm not quite sure what to A voice pitch is very high. And as soon as I asked for a package, the fun demonstration started. The juice of quick lime was spread on the betel leaves, followed by slices of betel nuts, parsley seeds, licorice, and tobacco leaves before she wrapped it up. For five baht, you get ah. three wraps. What does it do to your body? So it's like almost like Boost a drug. It <laughs> and it will help reduce tension, make you relax, and socialize easier. Thank you <laughs> nice. <laughs> You'll need it. <laughs> Here we go. A little snack for me today to give me more energy. How come um she have her hair covered? Further I didn't know. Alley, like, is she a Muslim in Thailand? In area selling fresh produce, we found a restaurant, uh. a fast food store to be exact. People were munching on inners or little sticks half cooked wow, in the bubbly boiling water and dipped into. Is that like liver? It looks like I'm liver. I'm not a fan of inners to be honest, but oh, I this gave looks it a so try. Tender. <laughs> it's very tender. Uh, oh, really? Billing was done by and counting sticks, the uh, number of the empty sticks. Another business here that's based is it on the city there. Yeah, city corner. Uh, very neat. the main road, I took a very nice appreciating the Sino-Portuguese row houses, 
the iconic architecture of the Malay Peninsula. Ah. Art. Longot Boutique Hostel is another great sample of the Chinese architecture. Let's go in and check it out. The hostel is set in a renovated building uh. that's over a hundred years old, using leftover materials from other resorts and refurnished with antique Very items the owner inherited town. from his great grandfather. Recognized mm. as the town sample of successful historical building restoration, Good boy. the hostel is a chic and friendly shelter for travelers who love to linger within the atmosphere Tell of the girl. And now we're standing with Kun Boy, the fifth generation owner of this building and the present wow. owner of Luang Pot Boutique Hotel. So, what do you have Could you please tell us a little bit about this mm. building, the history of it? Uh, the history of the building, um, this building is around uh, 120 years old. Wow. Oh, it's the a mirror, is it? owner is uh, my first generation from... You see the mirror, side. you see the person with the camera. <laughs> you see the person taking yes, a picture. I come back to uh, <laughs> about two and three years ago. Mm. Then I come to renovate yeah. mm. uh, everything. But uh, now before before I came here, it's very... The very down. old, yeah. Wow. Very, very shabby. Yes. Yeah, yeah, I want it looks to make ghostly. It but I still try to keep everything in the original and the same thing. As Kun Boy led us out wow. of the building to the area behind it, he showed us the ghostly structure of another building. The plan to restore that building, put in more rooms, and decorate them in the same style of the but front building. I hope the structure is strong. Gotta be careful. Because if the structure is too old and you renovate it and make it look very money, nice and beautiful and then down something the like an earthquake comes, everything anew. if it's very he weak said, it could fall down, yes, be would. careful. But it would tear down the history and intangible value as well. Wow. And then we went to Wari Banpo uh, Temple. Sitting on a hilltop, yeah, the temple hosts the longest reclining Buddha statue the in the south of Thailand. I have no hair. Meters long. Being one of the most visited temples in Renong by wow. Myanmar people, this temple's got a line of monk statues, which are modeled on the routine of the monks in Myanmar themselves. In the early morning, about 4 or 5 in the morning, you can see lines of hundreds of monks walking, waiting for the offerings. Leaving the hilltop, we headed to the small pavilion downhill, really? where the much revered body of the temple's first abbot is kept. What? The corpse of the first Abbot. They have the body in there still. It's another highlight of this place. The body just wow. could not be burned when they tried to cremate him. And it remains the mystery for Buddhists and visitors alike. Wow. Before the last light died out, we went to Raksawarin, another famous hot spring of Ranong. The temperature of the three pools is as high as 65 since degrees Celsius, and they are among it's the like very few no hot springs in the world that contain no sulfur. If you wish to bathe, there is an area separated from the pools which requires an entrance fee. And in that reserved area, you can also relax and let your mind drift along with the sound of the stream. Nice, that was a good video. Good video presentation, of course. No, um, she said that the body. Taking in such a serene atmosphere, I'm sure I saw the body. I was already thinking of my next vacation. Yeah, that's the body in the casket. So what it couldn't, it never decomposed, and it could not get cremated. Wow, I guess it really is a mystery. Hmm. What's the story behind this one, guys? Leave a comment below, of course. Um. I would I would love to know about this one because they tried to cremate it, it didn't burn and for sure it didn't decompose I suppose maybe they gave it um bombing that thing you have to they usually put it in the body for them not to decompose 
So that's a very interesting video. Of course, thank you very much for requesting this video. Subscribe to Juno's with just a commentary. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter if you want me to react to video. Leave a comment below and I'll try my best to react to it. Thank you very much. Bye guys.